This is a Cat 70 round bottom scraper. I picked this scraper up earlier this spring. Bought it on eBay. Got a good buy on it. It's in good shape. It's a good candidate for hydraulic conversion. I'm going to show you a bunch of pictures of the scraper. I'm going to show you some before and after pictures. We're going to take a look at how to convert one of these scrapers to hydraulic. Originally these are cable controlled as all cat scrapers were cable controlled or out of the factory. Right now we're just looking at pictures on the computer. I'll have additional videos soon of welding and various other things during the conversion. You'll see several places in the uh, video here that there's rolls of cable on the scraper. These were factory. There's over 600 feet of cable in one of these scrapers. Here's a picture of the front cable shivs. These raise and lower the bowl. Picture of the what I call the horn. And the horn actually contained uh, pulleys for the lift shivs and it contained pulleys for the door lift. Here's a picture of inside the front tube. Now, in the front tube, where the mouse is at now in the picture, that's a floating shiv. And this is the left side where there's triple pulleys. One of the first things you'll end up doing to convert this scraper is removing these shivs. That's a little bit of a job considering they're all full of grease. It's not fun. Well, I spent almost four hours torching these out of here. Might have went a little quicker if I had a different cutting tip. Maybe a straight type cutting tip. There's the after picture. Next thing is the ejector in the back. There's cable shivs here and there's a fixed shiv in between these frame rails. This will all have to be removed. Some guys leave this top as a hood for the cylinder to guard. Here's a picture after I got all that cut loose and removed. I would be mounting a plate on the front here with cylinder ram mounts and then back here where it's stationary, that's where the rear of the cylinder will attach. We'll have some additional videos of that real soon. Show you how to mount it and what I did. Here's the front cable shivs after I started removing them. Uh, you'll, I always leave the top shiv on the neck. This front shiv will, as we'll see in some other additional videos, this will contain a holder for the hoses. It makes kind of a hose boom. Here is a picture of a, the neck originally. This lower shiv here is gone. I got rid of it. The top cable shivs here, they've been removed as well. Let's see if I have a picture of that. There we go. There's right after I torched them off. I'll grind these all down and make it look better for paint. Back to the tube. As I mentioned, there's a floating shiv. Now I'll have some more videos on this, but what I ended up doing was the floating shiv originally pulls from the left side. What I did is I reversed the shiv and I put a tether or a lock, cable lock, welded it in on the right side. That allows you to mount a cylinder from the left side to pull towards the right. 
it utilizes the factory cable lifts for the door through the horn. It's a good simple design. I've seen it used several times by different people, different conversions. There's a lot of different ways to convert these. I'll actually have some walk around videos of the scraper very, very soon. Show you how I reversed the cable shiv and reinstalled the pulleys. Basically, we're going to be using a cylinder to slide the shiv back and forth so we can continue using the factory factory cables and makes the conversion quicker and easier. If you ask me, it's cheaper. I like the cable lift on the door. It allows the door to float, whereas some guys use direct mount cylinders. It kind of makes the door rigid. More susceptible to get damaged. As I mentioned, this is a Cat 70 round bottom. You can tell it's a round bottom by the rear spindles instead of the sides around the tires. Round bottoms are a little harder to finish with, but they pull easier. They got kind of a bell mouth bottom. No, not real bad. They're pretty flat. They cut nice, but where that center's a little lower, they'll they'll dig in. It's kind of like adding cutting teeth to a bucket. Also, right here on the hitch, you'll notice a little U-shaped piece. Originally, that was designed to drape a cable through up to the winch, and it was used as an implement jack. I cut that off as well, and recently added a jack to the hitch. The scraper is going to maintain its original profile, but in the end it will be much more useful with the hydraulic controls. It's fun bringing these old scrapers back to life. Stay tuned, I'll have a bunch more videos on this.